Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at a tool that I use to keep track of all of my work and my to-do lists and projects and stuff like that. That uh, tool is Trello. I was first introduced to this by Doug Belshaw a couple of years ago, and it tends to be the one like to-do app or productivity app that I keep coming back to again and again. Uh, I want to show you how I use it um, and how I set it up. So if I sign into Trello, basically what you have set up is uh, you know a series of like boards the way that I envision Trello is you have almost like a whiteboard and you have a bunch of post-it notes that are on the board that you can move around and these post-it notes are, are organized primarily in columns or stacks so I'm gonna start off a new board and show you what this could look like and I'll call this the test drive I'm not going to give it to a team or anything. Uh, I've used this for projects and teams, uh, but this one I'm basically just going to set up for myself. So when it first gets started, they'll open up this. Uh, you know, this is your main Trello board. Uh, you'll see over here they'll have some extra functions, uh, but basically I'm going to get rid of that. This one is set up where I have the name that I just set up. This is a private board. Um, you can share this with a team or share this publicly. Typically for my to-do list, uh, I share it publicly just so that other people can see how I organize it because it, that's how I learned as I looked at other people and the way they set up their boards. So this one is basically to do doing done. I could change this so I could call this uh, Monday. I could call this, you know, Tuesday. You get the point. Um, and I can basically organize this for days of the week. I can set this up pretty much any way that I want to. So these are my stacks. Um, underneath the stack, I have individual cords I can add. I can add more to this. So I can, they call us a list. I can add another stack of cards here. And I can set this up for Friday. Just to continue the thought. So here's my five stacks or or lists as they call them and underneath of it I can add individual cards so I can say uh, change oil and I could say okay uh, grade papers because I'm a oil changing paper grading educator I can also say you know um, pay cable bill So for each one of these, I can basically set up, these are individual cards that are underneath of these stacks. So if I look at grade papers, I can click on it and I can see where did I list, what list or stack is this involved in. I can add comments underneath, um, or I can actually add a description underneath. So if I need a little bit more detail and underneath, I can add comments to it. So I can say, um, you know, first class. Come on. And I could say rubric, can't type, is in email. So this is a card, and on the back of the card, I can add comments. Um, I can also add individual members. So if you're doing this as a group, you can assign this to someone. You can add a checklist to it. You can add due dates, attachments. There is, there is some functionality where you can attach this to like Google Calendar and your Gmail. I've tried that. I don't really use it. I prefer just to have this live on its own. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll get rid of that. And then I can move this, copy it, archive it. While we're here, the only other thing that I really use a lot is the labels. So the labels are color-coded. If you want to, you can have this colorblind friendly mode. But a, a label's pretty simple. So I can click on green. And let's say green is school. And then I'm going to say that yellow is home. So I can see on this card now, this grade papers one, I had this yellow and I had this green. Uh, I've found that the labels are helpful for me, but the labels are also helpful if you uh, keep them simple. So now the, the fun thing with Trello is you can move the cards around 
to the different stacks. So I have my five stacks or lists as they call them. Well, let's say, okay, I look at this and I really want to pay the cable bill at the end of the week. So I'm going to slide this over to Friday. So I can move my cards around. And this is where, for me, it makes sense to look at this like a, a whiteboard with post-it notes that you move around on the whiteboard. So I can say, okay, well, grade papers, you know, I'm not going to be able to get to it Tuesday. I need to do it Wednesday. But I can move things around on my schedule to make sense of it. Um, and the nice thing is that this syncs automatically with your Android device, you know, so I had this on my phone, I had used that primarily, that's how I'll use Trello most times, and then I can also put this on my iPad, or if you have an iPhone, you can use it there, um, but for the most part, I'm using Trello, I'm checking in in the morning and at night on my Android phone, um, you know, or my iPad if I have it, but if I'm not using it there, I sit at my desk and I have Trello open on a tab in Chrome, and I can get in and I can easily edit and modify my to-do list. Uh, so one more thing I'll show you while we're here. So I can change the background if I want to. I can set, add some photos and add some colors. Um, I can filter the cards. I don't use this that often. Um, I can add stickers, power-ups. I haven't used a lot of these in the past. Uh, I'll check more of this out. I can add more and change some of the labels and the settings and stuff like that. If you want to, you can email cards directly to your board so you can forward stuff from Gmail. I've had a lot of issues with that in the past, so I don't really use it that often. Um, and then the last thing that I really like here is the activity list so I can see what is there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. So my general process is when I have to do something, I add a card to a board. So if I want to add this, I can say uh, grocery shopping. Now let's say I'm moving through the week and I it's not Monday, so I changed the oil. So if I click on this, what some people will do is they will have a done column. I've seen a lot of people that have like a done column and I can take done and say, okay, I want this to be at the beginning of the week. And now that it's not Monday anymore and I've changed my oil, my oil I will add this to the done column. There's some people that do this and they like to see a stack of all of the things that they've finished throughout the week and they can go back and keep track of stuff. For me, it doesn't work. When I complete something, I want it out of the way so I don't have to think about it anymore. And the nice thing about this is I can go in and I can look at change oil and I can archive this. So it basically gets it out of the way and I don't have to see it anymore. Um, there is a way to go in and see all of the things that you've archived over time. So you can go back and find all this, um, but you don't need to, to think about it anymore. One of the other nice things is that you can go back and you can search through and find some of the old pieces that you've had. So if they're lost, so the search is pretty decent on there, but I don't really use it that often. So before we wrap up, I want to look at my board, the way I set it up. So my primary board that I use for organizing my stuff is as follows. So I have a to do list that I basically limit to three things per day that I want to make sure that I focus on. I don't want to have a, a stockpile of things that I attend to because my general organization and strategy is that I have my Google Calendar set up and the Google Calendar is things that I have to show up for. So that might be a, an appointment, it might be a meeting, it might be a class. So these are things my Google Calendar is set up that I'm definitely there um, and I have to be in attendance. Beyond that, I have some flexibility, you know, within the, the schedule of classes and meetings and going to pick up kids from school or dropping them off um, or closing up the day and, and having dinner and, and relaxing with the family. I have little pockets of time that I can use for organizing and writing and research and putting together videos like this. So I need to be able to like be relatively flexible and agile in how I organize my day. So I want to have a to-do list that has three things on there and no more um, so I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed. The, the next step in it is I basically set up my week so I can figure out, okay, what do I have that I need to pay attention to in, you know, in, the, in the upcoming week? And the nice thing is you know, this semester, Thursday is my research day, so I know for the most part, Thursdays are wide open. Uh, so I have 
one day, you know, a card for each day. And these are like headers or placeholders. And then what I do is I have projects. Uh, these are longer term pieces that take longer than just one week. So these might be a month to a couple months. I try to limit the projects to three to five things I want to work on. And these are larger term goals um, that can be, you know, anywhere from a couple months to uh, a half a year. So this is research projects, book projects, things that I have to worry, worry about or work on. So my third year review materials are due in two weeks. Um, and so the, the last piece is next in line. And these are things that I really want to start working on, um, but I haven't really done anything yet. Um, so this might be, you know, uh, a series of online classes I want to put together. So it's sort of like a tickler file that I want to make sure I'm paying attention to. So it's something that I just don't want to forget. So the, the goal is that I look at my projects here. And so I say, all right, here's my open book. I'll click on the card. And then what I can do is leave notes and say, you know, email Greg about table of contents. And then I can say, okay, uh, review chapter one and save that. So then I can go in and see that I have two comments and okay, what do, what are the next steps really here for this? So what I can do is say, okay, this week, as I, as I organize my week, you know, either on, on Sunday or, or Monday morning, I can organize my week and say, okay, well, Monday, what I really want to do is I, I need to email Greg. And I want to review chapter one. So now what I can do is I could say, okay, I want to email Greg. I think, you know what, that's a, a, a Monday sort of thing. But then chapter one, I want to have a little bit more time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on Thursday because I know I have the time. As we proceed through the week, then what I do is I say, okay, today, one of the things I wanted to do today was make this video for Trello. So I look at this and I can see the history of this and when this was moved around. Right now I'm recording this video, so I'm going to consider this thing done. So I'm going to hit archive and get rid of it. Now, the nice thing is I can look at this and say, okay, what else do I need to do today? And then I can check that off when it's done. Um, and then as the day progresses, if today now is Thursday, I can take this and say, okay, welcome Thursday. This is what I need to do today. I need to get chapter one done. And then after it's completed, I'll be able to uh, archive that and get rid of it. So a couple other things that are on here that I want to pay attention to. Um, if I go over to my labels. So one of the things that I've been playing with, so here in the week I have, uh, earlier I had weeks set up where I didn't have individual cards for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've decided to add those in because I wanted to be able to organize my week a little bit here in this column. I tried having Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday spread out across like we had in this board. So I, I tested out for a couple weeks having four, you know, five columns across um, or these lists across. And then I was like, no, this is too much. I want to be able to see on one screen everything that I have to do. So I basically folded this all into one column and I just added a label as a as a signifier or as a way for me to remember that the, these are separate from other things. Another thing that I've added and I haven't used it as much and I might get rid of it is I added a label for things I have to do at work or at home. Um, I also had a label that was things that I had to do online or on the computer. Um, I got rid of that because pretty much everything I do is on the computer now. So I still have work and home stuff because there might be things that are particular to that. But I'm thinking that I'm going to get rid of those as well because fewer is better in my book uh, for the amount of labels so I don't get confused. The last one that I really have is this Pomodoro uh, label and I'm going to have a whole other video about that and how I use it here in Trello. So I'm not going to dive into that right now. Um, but the only other thing that uh, and you can see my board is public so you can go take a look at it. Um, but 
this is pretty much how I set up my board. It makes sense for me. Once again, the the you know I'll I'll start off with larger projects. So these are goals or things that I want to work on and make sure they're done over a couple months to you know half a year. Um, so this is larger term goals, and then from there. I try to break down the goals into individual elements. So I might say, okay, for the open book, let me list all the things I have to do to get this thing done. And then at the beginning of each week, either on Sunday or Monday, what I'll do is I will take a look at my column here and say, okay, what do I need to do this week first of all? Like what's coming up that I need to pay attention to? Is there a meeting coming up I need to prepare for? Make sure I put that in this list. So that would be reviewing my Google Calendar and my email. As things pop up in my email, I'll slide them into this week or upcoming projects. And then I also look at the projects that are listed here and figure out, okay, what are things, you know, actionable things I need to do and how can I get ready by adding them over to here? Last but not least, as things pop up throughout the week, when I get ready to start the morning, so today is Friday, so what I do is I wake up, you know, Thursday night before I go to bed, I review my to-do list and make sure everything's done, and then Thursday night or Friday morning, I'll go to the list and slide things over from Friday into the to-do column, and then as I complete them, then I'll archive those those um cards so I already archived the Trello card for this video and then after I'm done this I'll email stuff to Madison so that she can have it um, but this is pretty much how I use Trello this is my organizational structure I will put together a video on how I use Pomodoro I will put together a video on how I pay attention to calendar and this board and then I'm also going to put together I'm toying with how to do videos on uh, the devices so on the Android phone and the iPhone or the iPad so I can show you how I make sense of that information across the device and here but I think it's important to start especially with Trello right in the browser so hopefully this helps you out um, by all means subscribe pay attention to my website um, subscribe to my email newsletter if you haven't already and then like the video or leave comments behind if there's something that works for you, doesn't work for you, or if in any way this benefited you. So once again, thanks a ton.